Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And if you've ever wondered what you can do on Quantum of the Seas on a sea day, you're gonna wanna stick around. Join us, let's go. Here we go. Well, this morning the weather has changed a little bit. It's a bit foggy and a bit wet. Actually, it's not like cold. I was expecting to be a lot colder out here. But there's some big waves, it looks like, out there. It was like a perfect morning to sleep in. So we caught up on some sleep. I think now we're going to go get our day started. All right, tip. Connell breakfast is free. Got to put this out on your door handle by 3 in the morning. We will probably do this every day. We might still go eat breakfast somewhere else, but the key to this is getting coffee delivered to your room. And since we're getting stuff delivered, we might as well get a fruit plate, some orange juice, a couple donuts, a blueberry muffin. The orange juice is because we're gonna do pro tip. <laughs> yeah, orange juice is because we have champagne left over, so free. Mimosas. Basically free mimosas because we already paid for the other. And then some frosted flakes, milk, and cream. And then there's coffee somewhere around here. We actually got up about two, three hours ago <laughs> and had <laughs> our uh, breakfast delivered to us. And then watched Br Great British Baking Show for about 15, 20 minutes and went to sleep. Yeah, it's Perfect sleeping weather. Yeah, uh, we are realizing that Alaskan cruises feels just, actually, it just feels different it does than feel different. Uh, the Caribbean cruises. Yeah. Uh, Caribbean cruises were generally like, get up, go crazy, constantly going all the time. Mm -hmm. Alaskan ones, we, we have been like, this, we started saying it yesterday already. This feels different. It yeah. feels more relaxed. It feels like one where you can just Breathe. sit back, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, but for us, one of the big things that we said that we were going to do this trip is going to be go at the gym. So Day one. Here day we go. Uh, does this count as day one? Oh, well, day one at the gym. Yeah, we weren't going to do it on embarkation day. That's crazy. Yeah, we thought about it. We really did. But. Yeah. But let's go get our pump on. Yeah. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go. Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Alright, it might not have been the best workout ever. But, but it was it, 30 minutes intentional. Yeah, 30 yeah. minutes purposeful doing stuff. Yep. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> so we're trying to make it over. There's some kind of crown and anchor society mm -hmm. thing because this one just hit platinum. little thing honestly it was about 10 15 minutes long we've never been to one short. but we did get a bunch of, or a couple of mimosas they just keep bringing them they did and, and a then, fruit juice that was really good too yep and then we grabbed a couple cookies and a sandwich to hold us over till lunch but we're gonna get ready for the day all the nerds have shown up for star wars trivia it's a packed house including us yeah including <laughs> us ready to win some If you don't know, just ride on chopstick, okay? <laughs> yeah, he's Skywalker. Question number five. Oh, this lady. Okay, who kissed this lady first? Luke. Your brother. Why so you say you? I said no, I didn't. You said Luke. For the to be the lead to attack against the Death Star. Lando. Yes, it's Lando. You know that Lando. 
We liked it so much, we're going back. Yeah, headed to Jamie's again for lunch. Um, there's only like three real restaurants that we truly wanted to do on the extra dining package. Yeah. And so they do lunch as does Chops, so you'll see that, but we're just running up here. We're a little bit late. Alright, meat tray. <laughs> Looks pretty good. This is the first time we've actually tried this one. And check out how she has to capture it for the Insta. All right, one we have not had before is the bolognese. But the weird part today is they came out with fresh pa uh, Parmesan. Thank goodness. Yeah. And Rachel got the carbonara. French fries. Jamie's Burger, which we really liked before. You can see there's a lot of good stuff on there. Onions, um, pancetta or bacon, I can't remember, one or the other. Yep, one of the two. Cheese, um, I'll put everything on there. That looks really good. Arugula salad. Yep. Rachel got this chicken Caesar salad. Looks that good. looks good. Don't be too. shocked, people. Don't be surprised. Right? Look at how little we're ordering. Oh yeah, we got french fries too. That looks good. Oh gosh, we were unsure about this, but it looks like it might be open. They have oh, fish and chips, chicken tenders, chicken sante, crab rangoon, fish chowder, not dim sum. <laughs> I guess. Unfortunately for uh, Americans, it looks like we get some Flash Away Cafe with crab rangoon, fish chowder, chicken saute, classic fish and chips, and chicken tender chips. Man, I'd rather have noodles and dim sum. Alright, so Jamie's food was good. My gosh, it was taking forever though. So we decided to skip on dessert and check out what is open today. Oh, baby. Ice cream. Oh, I'm so glad to see you open today. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. So the water is very rough today. Right, Rachel said it's the worst she's ever felt. Um, trying to show what's going on in the pool right now because it is all over the place. Windy, lots of waves, but there's ice cream. We do have a bionic bar here, up on the second floor. Alright, we wanted to share with you, we did the, because we aren't doing the drink package, we did the coffee card though. You get 15 coffees, I think it's about 30 bucks that you get it. That's what I remember. Um, mm -hmm. And so it actually gets you all like the fancy coffees, which we figured at least at that point each of us can get one, slightly more than one a day. Yep. Um, but coffee card, we'll go show you where you can get it. And by the way, here's where we are right now. Let's see if we can get that to show up. We're here. You want a weather girl, that one? We're here. It's foggy. But pretty soon we're going to be between lands. Yeah. So it appears that we are... Um, we might get to see something sooner. Yeah, and it appears we're soothing out. Like the... Yeah. Does it does not does, feel near as rough as it did. Yeah, it doesn't today. feel as bad right now. Here we but, go. You can kind oh, of see it. Yeah, we're coming in on some land. Yeah. And out there it still looks gray. But there's something coming up. Mm-hmm.
So you remember that scene in Vegas Vacation where they go to that uh, podunk casino and they play all the crazy games? I think that must have been a cruise ship casino. I think so too. Yeah, check out some of these games. Straight from a carnival. This machine gets a ton of excitement. It's where you gotta stick the key in the hole and then it pulls the money back. Uh, it costs a dollar per time. You've seen the new cash crane in Vegas. This is legit cash crane. No ball, just a wada. Hundred ones. I've never gotten the full screen on piggy bank. Huh? But this is on two cent, one dollar bet. First time ever, I even had an extra spin to go. The couple that bonuses together stays together, right? That's right. All right, we get our first towel animal. It looks like a nice little puppy. And a reminder that we are traveling back in time. This afternoon, we actually just played a little bit at the casino um definitely doing well with the complimentary drinks for prime status so far it seems like you can do a pretty good job with that and then there's where we are currently let's see if we can see any land out there nope today has been a very gray day um pretty much nothing but this sometimes water so hopefully it gets a little bit more clear because we got some nature stuff coming up cheers cheers strong pour <laughs> um <laughs> this is what you got to do when you want two glasses with dinner that's well, a good thought. <laughs> we are headed to Chops tonight, so head to the steakhouse. I think I'm going to try a steak tonight. All right. Mm -hmm. um, we had a, a rough go our first time. We really enjoyed it the second time. Let's hope we enjoy it tonight. Mm -hmm. Start from which country? Yes, sir. I will repeat, don't worry. The United States board. Alaska. Looks like two sides of Chops here. Very pretty. So I told them that it's Rachel's birthday. So she's just getting ready for this because it's at the table next to us. She knows it's gonna come. All right, a little bit of pretzel bread, some weird looking bread <laughs> and butter. All right, we ended up with the crab cake. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like on the inside. Uh, it doesn't look like a ton of fillers. So that's a good sign. A little bit of corn relish. Uh, the beef carpaccio. Looks really good. A little bit of arugula salad, some parmesan. And then tuna tartare. With a everything crisp. Looks good. All right, we both got the same salad. This is the baked goat cheese. We actually had it before, loved it. You can see this is... It's like a goat cheese puck. Yeah, it's like a goat cheese puck with a great little breading on it. Look at that. So good. All right, the main courses are here. I ended up getting the nine ounce filet. Got some Bernays and peppercorn sauce. Rachel got some mushrooms. We did a cheese, like a Gruyere. Yeah. 
um, tater tot and mac and cheese, and then Rachel got the New York. Yum. And she added the red wine reduction as well. Looks good. Thank you. Alright, so key lime meringue pie. And cheesecake. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I think it's the raspberry lemon meringue. Oh. I can definitely tell it's raspberry. All right. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Rachel, right? Yeah. Nice and loud. Okay, I'll just move this one. Okay. You want to just tilt it a little bit for the picture? Sure. <laughs> On the count of three. Oh, there's more. Happy birthday, yes. Rachel. 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 Oh. One, two, and three. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Rachel, happy birthday to you. Thank you guys. Very good. Oh, and also uh, some red velvet cake. It was his happy birthday. Which is the only kind of cake that Rachel will eat anyway. It's true. The they must have known. <laughs> All right, we just saw some weirdos dressed up all goofy, but we also finished up at Chops. What'd you think about Chops? I enjoy it. It's not like an over the top steakhouse, but it's a good steak if you yeah. order the one you know you like. Let me just say that. Right. I, I'm not going to say that it's as good as a lot of the places we've been to in Las Vegas, but it's a it's a good home hometown um, steakhouse and. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that um, we've had better experiences the last couple times we've been to it. We will do it again, even on this trip. Yeah, I agree. Um, my favorite bite from this? Mine was the beef carpaccio. The beef carpaccio was very good. It was our first time doing it. I also enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the crab cake, I think, a little bit more than you did. Yeah. Um, and then for the sides, I, I was impressed with the mac and cheese, surprisingly. I got some sauteed mushroom sat with my steak. It was delicious. Yeah, really good? Yeah. Let's go find out what else we can get into. Oh, also, there's an Elvis impersonator. Oh my God, tons it's of people. It's good. It's, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's packed in there. It is. <laughs> wrapped up the Las Vegas Tenors, uh, which was our night show, 10 p.m. show. It's now 11. We're still awake. Amazing. Crazy. <laughs> um, I thought that was really good. It was a good show. They were really good. They did yeah. a good job producing it. They did a very good job. Um, I thought it was one of the better, um, like just singing mm -hmm. shows that I've seen on Royal Caribbean. That is something we've noticed on this ship is it's a lot of music forward. Yeah. Like there's a very, ton very of good music, music here. Yeah. 
And um, that doesn't hurt our feelings. We love music. No, so. it's actually, it makes it great because otherwise um, we did, we had noticed that there was a lot of like um, games and trivia, yeah. which we were not super excited about because like the games weren't like active things. But we were like, I, I don't know that I want to do a lot of trivia. Yeah. Uh, but overall, like, the music has been great so far. I really hope that it keeps up. Me too. Um, one thing that we have talked about multiple times today is that this ship, um, so to give some backstory, we have gone on Freedom, Navigator, and Symphony all in the last year prior to this. And this one, it very much feels like a amped up, souped up, version of like the freedom and navigator yeah. rather than a mini version of symphony of the seas yeah. the oasis class ships are really just their own animal whereas we felt like this one it's like those smaller ships but like just better more compact um yeah. a more really good options. itinerary yeah. yeah we we really have enjoyed it so far we were unsure but i think today very much cleared it all right, well, tomorrow you're going to want to stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe because we are going to Catch Can, Alaska, and we are taking a plane to an all-you-can-eat crab feast. Feast. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to want to stick around for that. So. We're at sea. It's a sea day. <laughs> yep, we're in our Alaskan cruise final sea day and it is nasty weather, so let's see if we don't puke. <laughs> All right, first time at Cafe 270. Um, I went with a sesame bagel with some kind of herb cream cheese. Um, a royal muffin, which looks like a egg or a McDonald's McMuffin. And then a bacon croissant. Rachel got a breakfast burrito and blueberry muffin. And a muesli, don't forget my muesli. And a muesli, and we're eating in the blue. All right, so when we were going to bed last night, we had mentioned how the sea was very rough last night and it had been bad, but it actually is quite worse today. You know it's rocking when the puke bags come out. Ooh, I almost fell backwards. <laughs> Alright, this could be an exciting one. They got laser tag going on right now. I gotta imagine people are gonna be falling over into each other. Probably going to the gym next, so this was just our free sweat. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of fun though. Yeah. Give it a try. 
here is the arcade. It actually looks pretty fun. Decent games. That one's down. But then you can get some prizes. A lot of driving kind of games. She's cutting across the ship. And it's wet, windy, nasty. Ooh. Yeah, the water doesn't look super nice. It's my sleeve that keeps flying up if anything does. Yeah, they have not had this open the whole time and you can see why. Even the indoor pool is chained off today. I don't think it was the other day when it was nasty outside. Yeah. So, hope you like hot tubs if you do one of these. All right, here we go again. So the high seas are kind of getting to Rachel a little bit. It might have been like the gym is on deck 16 and all the movement, all the rain and stuff messed with your eyes. So she took a Dramamine, but I'm gonna get us a couple coffees. Hopefully she feels better. First time going to the main dining room this trip. Starting off, they do give you a bread basket. Looks like a, oh, is that rosemary? That's what I'm guessing. Um, this one looks like it's either Parmesan or Asiago. That one looks real good. And then some French bread or Italian bread. Not bad. All right, starting off for lunch with three appetizers. We got a goat cheese tomato salad, I believe. A, is it seafood? Shrimp risotto. Shrimp risotto. I think I only see two shrimps, but. What do you call them? Cheese sticks. <laughs> Yummy. All right. All right, this is the gnocchi. There's a lot of mushrooms on that. Rachel's gonna love that. Uh -huh. um, this is the royal chicken sandwich. You can see there's some lettuce on there. Is that guacamole? I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. <laughs> but royal chicken sandwich. And Spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Alright. Rachel smashed this. <laughs> but we can at least see in, and the guacamole or avocado is supposed to be on there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got the white chocolate mousse. And then they called it something else, but it looks like a creme brulee to me. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, it's very similar to a creme brulee. Yep. All right, just wrapped up lunch at the main dining room. Um, I know some people really enjoy it. I think for us, it actually reinforced wanting to do the upgraded dining package though. Absolutely, and 
it's just it's not bad it's just not for us yeah it's not our style mm -hmm. um, obviously we are very critical foodies yeah so for us we do prefer the upgraded plan so once again, the question is 80s, this pop song. music trivia to the max. Ready? All right, here we go. 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 Beautiful again. And again. Alright, for an extra charge with our coffees this afternoon, we did a cotton candy and a pistachio macaron here at the coffee shop. Alright, we are hoping to do a little class that we've never done before here in Boleros. Alright, so the class is called Mixing Up the Decades, and we will get to learn how to make a Manhattan, a Tequila Sunrise, Sex on the Beach, Cosmopolitan, and Mojito. It is $25 per person, but it seems like we're all fine. Five drinks? Yeah, we're getting five drinks for 25 bucks. And we get to learn how to make them. We can, yes. use, these, we can use these skills in the future. Life skills. <laughs> Lots of life skills here. And then they start divvying out the uh, full drinks. And we ended up with the Tequila Sunrise. She's excited. All right, we just got done with our drink class. And it was awesome. Mixing up the decades. Mixing up the decades, uh, $25 per person. It does give you five different drinks that you get to make. Um, and a six. Yeah, and they give you extra stuff throughout. Um, if you're looking at a cheap way to get five, six plus drinks, this is one. It's so worth it. You learn so much about the liquors and the drinks, and then he also included Royal Caribbean history. I've done one previously that was a beer tasting that was really good as well. Mm -hmm. But if you're into mixed drinks, this is the way to go. This is good. Yeah, we were talking about how we've done like wine tastings before. Yeah. But we're not giant wine drinkers. I mean, we like what we like, but yeah. we don't know enough. Yeah, we don't know enough, whereas we do like mixed drinks. And this was a fun way to do it. And it does give you a recipe book as well. Yeah. How about your Manhattan? Um, my Manhattan is actually a mixture of two Manhattans. <laughs> Uh, I, I do like <laughs> I do like bourbon whiskey, um, yeah. and Rachel does not, and I so I got that, sunrise. and she got an extra tequila sunrise. Mm -hmm. So, fun times. Um, let's see where the rest of the night goes. Hey, we're at Izumi. Here is miso soup. A little bit of sushi. Er, a little bit tofu. of tofu. <laughs> Looks good. All right, vegetable fried rice here at Izumi. And we did repeat uh, the shrimp firecracker spring roll. Because our waitress suggested it. 
Yes, we were talking about doing the tofu salad. And she said, really, it's about a pretty much basic salad with some tofu and ginger sauce. But she likes the shrimp, so shrimp it is. All right, after I said that, uh, we did ask to replace one of our desserts with the tofu salad. So you can see what it looks like. Um, ginger dressing, tofu, asparagus, tomatoes, and carrots. All right, this is a chef selection, salmon, tuna, yellowtail, and shrimp. And then we did redo the dynamite roll. One of our favorite from the night before. Seared tuna tataki roll, which has a tempura shrimp. Tuna on top, avocado on top. All right, our final main is chicken teriyaki on a bed of rice. Famous in Seattle. <laughs> All right, because our waitress is super nice, she actually brought us a mochi. Two chocolates, one green tea, and chocolate, chocolate lava, lava cake. cake. You that wanna try like, cutting into that sucker? Yeah, that seems like the perfect amount, actually. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, that looks like it could be a brownie-esque. And it does look brownie-like. A little bit between cake and brownie, but not too bad. All right, and we got <laughs> coffees. And these you've seen before. You ever have one of those moments when you know you're gonna regret it in the future, yet you do it anyway? <laughs> Smoked salmon pizza, cookies, and pepperoni pizza. We came home to this little mouse. I've actually never seen this one as far as towel animals go. Very right. cute. Wrapping up the day. We are finally getting back to the room. We, sea have, been, day. we have been out of the room for almost a whole like, dang yeah. day. We we stayed very busy for a sea day with mm -hmm. terrible water and <laughs> bad weather. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we went to Izumi for dinner. What did you think about that? I we changed it up a bit from what we've ordered we did. in the past, and man, that just is such a good place to eat. I yep. would highly recommend it, even if you don't get the full dining package. Just pay for the extra and go to Izumi one night. I agree. Mm -hmm. They do not have the teppanyaki on this ship, but we need um, to try that. Yeah, we have now had the sushi four times. Yeah, and I feel like it's pretty consistent every time. Every single time. Yeah. yeah. Um, after that, we did do some casino. Uh, tonight was our last night uh, playing in the casino because tomorrow it is only open from 8 a.m. until 11:30. So we did play a fair amount of time down there. Yeah, um, and it's something to do with. Canadian waters. Too, yeah, stuff. when it gets closer to Victoria and then after Victoria, we will not be able yeah. to play um, So we did pretty much do the rest of our play there. We did go to a show tonight I do not remember the name. I'm sure I inserted a bunch of scenes right before this though <laughs> I actually thought it was probably the best show that they've had on this ship um, It felt more complete all around um, lots of good singing dancing um, sing-along stuff. I enjoy Agreed. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then a lot of casino again <laughs> and pizza. Pizza and the In pub. night on pizza and <laughs> some live music and a couple cookies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. All right, best bite of the day. Best bite of the day. I'm gonna actually probably be surprising, but I would say the shrimp spring roll. 
mm -hmm. I believe it's a spring roll, um, at Izumi. I thought it was very good. It was one of the few things that we did double up on, and I thought that it was very good and consistent. Yeah, mine was the, I can't remember what it was called, but it was mm -hmm. one of our main dishes. It had like shrimp tempura on the inside. Yeah. It was really yeah, a good Yeah, it was one of the, one of the rules. Bite. Yep. How about your best uh, experience of the day? Best experience of the day. Oh, man. I feel like I had a different thing for this, but I actually did enjoy the laser tag. Oh, yeah, he had a lot of fun. I actually did have a lot of fun tag. with that. <laughs> yeah. And it was our first time doing laser tag. Yep. I, I thought it was a lot of fun. It's only probably like three to five minutes, but it was a, it was a good joy. It was. I really enjoyed the cocktail tasting and learning all about that. Totally was, forgot about that. I, I would have said the same thing. Yeah. yeah it was very um, interesting. Uh, you kind of learn a lot about different pieces and it, it was just something totally different than we would have normally done. Right. And, and honestly, like we do like mixed drinks, so I could mm -hmm. see us doing some of that stuff in the future. Yeah. So, okay, can I go back? I would go back. <laughs> um, the the mixed drinks was actually a blast. I think we're wrapping up the night. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Stick around. We got one more day on this cruise, and then we'll, right. we might try to do a few more videos about this cruise um, just to help anyone who is interested in doing an Alaska on a cruise. But tomorrow is Victoria, and we do have something planned. Let's hope we make it. Weather has been a factor for pretty much everything. <laughs> yep. All right. See you later.